there, my name is Vladimir. I am here at the Thoman Guitar Store Department section thing. Uh, I'm here to work in an event called TSR and I'm part of the crew doing the video stuff so I'm not here as a YouTuber per se. But on the breaks and such I plan to check out a bunch of guitars and perhaps buy one. So let's head to the store and check out what they have here. So one thing is that I don't really have a need for a guitar. It's more like uh, I would love to add something to my collection. One thing that I'm definitely missing is uh, like a hard rock metal guitar that we use because I do play quite a lot of metal in my videos, or like pedal demos especially, and I don't have anything that's really suitable for it. So that could be an option. Then I could always use like an HSS type of guitar just a super versatile all around that would be great for videos as well but honestly kind of all of the options are open I kind of want a Les Paul but uh, right now there isn't anything in my price range in the sense that the standards are above the budget I have and then the studios are just I just don't like the way they look and especially I don't want a Les Paul with dots as fretboard markers it just it doesn't feel right to me, so I'm going to skip those. I'm really interested in the Ibanez AZs. I've played a few, I like them. The Prestige models, aka okay, the kind of more expensive ones, Japanese made ones, they do not fit my budget. But then the premium ones, the Indonesian made ones too. But I'm not a huge fan of the color choices, but I'll definitely give them a try. And we'll see what else I find. Even though Les Pauls are kind of out of my price range, there's for example prestige guitars that do have guitars in that price range. I got to try them at NAMM, met the guys, really nice people, cool guitars. So I actually ended up trying this, I think it's called Prestige Heritage, like black matte finish, uh, chrome hardware, like a really cool single cut type. And here's a clip of me trying that. Please note that just because of the time constraints, audio quality is not like the best in the world, but at least you get a glimpse of my testing process. So as I mentioned, I'm interested in the Ibanez AZ range of guitars. I tried the Tom Quell one, which is like 1500 euros above my budget, but it's a phenomenal, phenomenal guitar. <laughs> That's how you say it, I think. Uh, but yeah, out of my budget range. And I did try the Ibanez AZ premium range, which is the Indonesian made one, still has the roasted maple neck and all of that kind of stuff. I love how the guitar feels. It feels like a super professional instrument. The neck and everything are really comfortable to me. But the only thing that's like kind of limiting me from loving it 100% are the looks of the guitars. I wish they had more kind of traditional finishes, like especially like matte, maybe even like a matte finish or something kind of. All of them are kind of flashy 
for whatever reason and I like kind of understated guitars. The AZ Premiums are definitely on kind of top of my list because of the price, the quality, the sounds you're getting from them, but we'll see. My guitar searching journey took a slightly interesting turn when I found this, which is a Fender Roadworn Strat, I think it's the 50s style, and I've never been able to play Strats, I keep hitting the volume knob all the time, but something about this guitar and the neck shape and everything was just really cool. So over this past few days that I've been here, I've actually been coming back to that guitar several times. It's very well priced. There's something about it because it doesn't have like a l kind of gloss finish or anything like that. I like it a lot. It sounds really good, but it has, is it a 7.25 inch radius, I think, which meant in this case that on the B string, when I bend the 15th fret to an E, it would actually fret out and the note would die and there's few other spots as well on the guitar where it happens apparently this can be fixed by just raising the action maybe a little bit it's really low on this guitar and stuff like that but I'm not sure and even though I don't have a need for anything I still try to kind of uh, watch out so that I, I don't do like impulse buys that I would regret later so yeah I've been coming back to this guitar several times during my time here but I think I might scratch it out from the list in the end. Here's a clip of what it sounds and you can hear the dying fret thing as well. <laughs> There are also many guitars that just don't make the video like play demo wise because this video will be like 700 minutes long and I don't want to spend that time editing it. A uh, few of the guitars I tried and liked uh, were for example the Sterling James Valentine which is a kind of weird, it's not a telly, it's not a humbucker guitar, it's something in between cool unique sounds but I feel it's kind of the same ballpark of my telly for example and uh, basically that ruled it out all the sterling and music man guitars have amazing amazing necks and this guitar is no exception it just felt super comfortable right away something else i tried was the yamaha revstar 
it's actually well, well under my budget. Um, that thing is cool, except it, it's like it's such a cool rock guitar when you hit it hard, but when you play it softly, it didn't really work for me as well. So that kind of ruled it out. But it's a great, great budget guitar. By the way, if you're wondering why my outfit changes, it's because I'm shooting this on many, many different days. And yeah, that's the only reason why, really. Okay, I think I might have also found like a wild card here, which is uh, a Charvel Sun Dimas. It's kind of telling us to start about Humbucker equipped guitar, which is really cool. Uh, I love the sounds of it. And the playability is much better than on a Les Paul. It's thick, but there's still kind of clang, twang thing going on. A really interesting guitar, and it's well under my budget actually, which is cool because it felt like a great instrument, satin finish and all. Um, I'm seriously considering it. It would be a great addition to all of my rock and metal tracks. Let's see. <laughs> What a nice camera trick. So, I'm at the end of my guitar search journey. Uh, there are plenty, plenty of guitars that I kind of quickly tried out that didn't make the demo part of it just because I didn't have the resources to shoot all of them. Or like shoot videos of all of them, just no way I could do that. But I have found a guitar that I'm going to buy. Actually, it's being reserved already. They will restring it with my favorite strings and give it a setup and it will ship to my place probably in a few weeks because of some things I'm not going to discuss in this video but yeah the winner of this guitar competition is actually the some music here I don't know what music do you do, 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 do. the road worn strat that I played before that I actually rudled out and I noticed that over the days I've been here, I just kept coming back to it. It's just kind of called to me, and even with all of its flaws and everything, it just was there was just something about it that I felt connected to it. Something like that, just random words I'm saying right now. But yeah, I just kept coming back to it, and uh, I mean, with setup and everything. Oh, there's Chris. Continue. Yeah, I just kept coming back to it and just really, really liked it. With some of the setup tricks and st stuff, you can probably, or most likely, the fretting out will be f dealt with. And I don't know, that thing just felt like a guitar I've been playing for years and it just needs some setup. So, in a few weeks, it will be at my home studio. I will give you a proper demo of it, show all the sounds and all of that. But for now, that's the end of my epic Toman guitar hunt thing. Links below to all of the guitars I tried or you saw in the, in the description below. So if you want to check them out yourself, go ahead and that should be it. So the video didn't actually end even though I thought it ended because of this man. Ooh. Sorry. He did something to my guitar. Yes, I did. And we're about to see it. I haven't actually seen it yet. Well, you will not see a lot. <laughs> mm. 
I'm guessing this is gonna be yours. Or is yours? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's somebody's. Yeah, it's yours. Somebody's guitar. There you go. So you don't see a lot. It's um... so Chris has damaged it yeah, all yeah, over sorry. the place. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm why. reckless. Yeah. No. What this guy did is not only give it a setup, but he also fixed the frets, basically. Yeah. The thing is with this radius, it's uh, hard to get. Oh yeah. There's the. It's hard to um, to have a good tension. The strings, but still, you know, kind of being able to bend in this region. So uh, what I did is just um, flatten the frets on this uh, upper region, and I uh, kind of made a compound radius, basically. But not like crazy compound, not like from seven and a quarter to twelve or something. Mm. It's just, you know, maybe I don't know, eight ish. You know, not a lot, but um, it helps. Man, thank you. I didn't ask him to do it, he just did it. Yeah. That's the kind of people you have working here. Yeah, I mean, the thing oh. is, whichever guitar I have in my hands, it, you know, at the end it has to be that good that I, I would not have trouble playing it, you know, otherwise I don't, I cannot let it go. I cannot say it's finished. So, uh, yeah. It feels different right away. Awesome. How on earth am I going to wait for like a week or a week and a half well, before it's my place? I'm so sorry for you, man. Big, big, big problems. Tough in times life. ahead. Tough times ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank man. You. Sure. Anytime. Okay, now I'm going to end the video. Subscribe, uh, like, do that. All of those things. Thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Cheers.